It's really a very somber start to our newscast, a sad final chapter for the family of missing San Francisco DJ Jeffrey Vandergrift. San Francisco coroner confirms that his body was found on Wednesday. NBC Bay Area's Chris Sanchez joins us with what we know so far. Chris? Well, this is the news that family and friends and Wild 94.9 listeners have been bracing for, though his wife and police announced weeks ago that they did not expect JV would be coming home. Still, today's confirmation reopened the wound for Wild 94 team members and listeners. This is the JV show. I cannot say this enough. It's always going to be the JV show. Yeah. It's not going to change, especially not as long as I'm here at Wild's Graham. Graham, too. Um, breaking news this morning. If you don't know, uh, the body that was found yesterday at Pier 39, late yesterday afternoon, it is JV. Uh, they've identified him this morning. And it's heartbreak all over again. All over again. The memorial outside the Wild 94.9 studios has been growing all morning long for the DJ who's been part of people's morning routines since the 1990s. A lot of those listeners expressing support for his wife, Natasha Yee. Same story on social media where people are posting about JV, condolences. They're also saying that uh, they just will not feel the same about listening to the radio. On air, radio station played back messages from listeners, including some who said JV got them through their own own dark times so this just breaks my heart it's like i lost a family member the entire bay area we all hurting on this one i'm sorry guys jv was last seen on february 23rd near his home in san francisco's mission district san francisco police at that time considered him missing and at risk that is until March 1st, when his wife released a statement saying that personal information indicated that JV would not be coming home. JV had been open about previous health struggles, and his body was then found in the water near Pier 39 around 5 o'clock last night. No foul play is expected. Now, if you are in crisis, you can get help from the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. You can just dial 988. That's the all you have to remember, 988. And you can even reach out to 988 if you know someone who is in crisis, they can help you help them. Back to you.